That's it. All seven Phillies and Mayors all set to go here. And uh, away they go for the Darley Yorkshire Oaks of 2022. And a, a really outstanding renewal it is as well. Racing over a mile and a half here. And the early pace coming from Magical Lagoon in the green jacket. Shane Foley sending her out into an early lead with on the outside then the light to lighter green colors there is the petit coco moves up to second place just ahead there of alpinista the greys they one or two of them jump that path tuesday is sitting handily in fourth raclette on that one's outside poptronic and lilac road in the maroon and blue colors it brings up the rear about six lengths behind them as they go through the first three furlongs they're moving down the far side towards the mile start here a dispute for the lead between the two Irish fillies on the inside there magical lagoon on the outside is the petit coco magical lagoon in the hands of Shane Foley Billy Lee on the outside on the petit coco the pretty poly winner Alpinista the grey Luke Morris tracking with Tuesday on that one's inside Ryan Moore in the dark blue jacket Olivier Pellier has raclette in fifth place Optronic in the yellow is next for Sam James and looking on still is Tom Marcon on board Lilac Road. The runners heading down now towards the halfway point of the contest over on the top left hand corner of the track then here at the Darley Yorkshire Oaks. Beginning the long sweeping left hand bend now which brings them down the side of the course. If anything, well, you probably say Le Petit Coco has gone on now by about a neck from Magical Lagoon in second. Alpinista waiting to pounce in third place as they straighten up for the judge. She's being tracked through then by Ryan Moore on Tuesday. Raclette's pink cap is next, just being squeezed along. Then on the inside, Poptronic. And as the pace lifts, they're all being squeezed along. Lilac Road trying to improve as well. So La Petit Coco is now setting out her stall and she goes for glory here in the Yorkshire Oaks leads but Alpinista is up to the challenge on the outside in the hands of Luke Morris and draws alongside and just puts her grey head in front here as they bear on down towards the final quarter mile. Alpinista the leader but La Petit Coco and Tuesday on the inside are battling really hard as they race up towards the final furlong. Alpinista having to pull out a bit more, the Oaks winner Tuesday drawing alongside her on the inside there's only a neck between her. Alpinista is having to be very brave here, and she is. She's got all the courage in the world and goes on to win the Yorkshire Oaks. Alpinista beats Tuesday. La Petit Coco. It was tight for fourth. Magical Lagoon and Lilac Road. Many, many congratulations. It was great to talk to you beforehand. How do you reflect on what you've just seen? I'm lucky to have such a good horse. And she's straightforward, so she's been training made easy, really got ability and, and straightforward you know how lucky can any trainer be you know? and she's in her thri in her prime isn't she right now I would have thought so I think she's last two races have been her best races so she slowly slowly kept improving and, and that's because of her mind I think you know. and it's a cursor system and that she shows that by the she shows that at home what we see at the race goes course. well she well, I mean, we, she won first time up at Epsom as a two-year-old. I mean, she went well, yeah. uh, but she's got better. And as you were watching the race, what were you thinking? Did it go as to plan in your mind's eye? I, we discussed it in the morning, and I thought we'd probably have to make it and, and just keep going. But Luke decided those two were going quick enough, and then they pulled it up. And, and uh, I think I was standing next to you, and if I, if I didn't say it, I was thinking, well, you, you want to be going quite soon. And... As I said it, he went, so um, I was relieved and pleased. Yeah. Yes, and in the closing stage, what were you eyeing Tuesday? Yes, I was, and, um, and uh, the person next to me said, well done, about a fellow like, out. There is nothing more annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I got properly told off, didn't I? <laughs> and, uh, anyway, and she, I never would have spoken again, and, uh, and she hung on, so it was a great day. It, it's absolutely superb. You were saying it was obviously very important to Kirsten very. to be to win a, a, a Group One in Britain. Yeah, yeah. I think you know she's got a full house the filly now, but you know Miss Rousing. I think I was veering towards going for the Bear May, but Miss Rousing quite rightly said, well, she needs to win a, a Group One in in England. When I saw how hot it was, I, I thought we'd set a task, but I was delighted. Yeah. And now all, all fair for the arc? I mean, he... yeah, if she's all right, that's where she'll go. I, I don't imagine we'll run her before. No, no. Yeah. And then the, she's in the, uh, the Japan Cup invited us, which is firm ground. So I suppose if something awful happened, 
you would have a farewell for her before going to sun. I don't think I'm going to have this next year, you know. I think. <laughs> so we might, we might get one more. You know? <laughs> I think, I think that, that, that might well be it. What, you know, you've, you've won so many great races. You've had some s superb horses through your hands. What does this mare mean to you? Well, you know, she's as five group ones in a row is a great achievement, whoever the horse, uh, whoever the breeder. And so, you know, it's been, it's, I, I take enormous pride from it. And having trained three generations of the family, it does make it three times as enjoyable, I could assure you. <laughs> <laughs> and surely she's worth a statue now, isn't she? Uh, yes, I think that's under control. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. It's already sorted. Uh, yeah, Mr. Blacker came with a measuring tape. I was pleased to see the other day. So I, I think we'll squeeze her in, you know. Well, there is no more popular winner of this race than you. I think you saw that from the crowd. You must have been delighted with the reception Marvelous. you got. Marvellous. Well, many congratulations to Mark, and I'm hoping that Tom will be able to speak to, to Kirsten shortly and hear perspective as well. That'll be important. Thank you very, <laughs> Thank you much. very much. Thank you all. Alpinista has won her fifth the Group 1, and importantly, of course, for her breeder, Kirsten Rousing, it is in Britain. It's the Darley Yorkshire Oaks Group 1. The man who delivered it is Luke Morris. Many congratulations. Tell me, did, did things go to plan out there from the start? Um, we had a very open book. Um, obviously, we went through the race this morning, and there didn't look to be a whole lot of pace in the race, and she's a filly. She's been ridden anyway, and uh, we'd kind of planned to jump and lead, but, uh, you know, it wasn't a be-all and end-all, and um, Billy Lee was quite quite kind of content on the outside to keep pushing forward and I didn't really want to get in the war early so I was happy to take a sit and you know I knew I had a long enough straight to to gradually unwind and let her attack and um, you know she's she's dug it out well in the end. I was wondering whether you were thinking once they did go ahead of you is this pace going to be strong enough and so but then as you say you moved to the outside coming into the straight so you could offset that? Yeah I was um, to be honest with you when uh, the two boys in front started to pull off I was pull up the pace I was just slightly concerned but um I knew once I turned in, I could gradually let her unwind, and I kind of felt I was almost arriving there a fraction sooner than I wanted, but it's been a little bit of a way of her this year. She, she almost feels a little bit speedier, and she feels like she's got a bit, of, bit more class about her, and I just think that's probably she's a better filly on better grounds. Yeah, and she's in her prime, isn't she? She's absolutely thriving at the age of five. Yeah, like I say, very much with Miss Rousen's filly, um, her grand dam, and even her dam, our wilder, she didn't win a list race until she was five, and... You know, Miss, Miss Rousen, she breeds these, you know, fantastic horses that are very sound and very tough, and she's pretty much a real, a real typical lambway filly. She must be fabulous to ride. What she gives you all the time. Yeah, you know, you could run, you could run your clock by her, and um, like I say, it's, it's a massive, you know, team effort. The team at Heath House and also the team at Lambway to fold her and brought her up. So um, I'm just a privileged one that gets to sit on her a couple of times a year. And what did you make of your reception here as well? No, it's fantastic. It's great that she's been able to kind of show in Britain what she's capable of because mm. she'd, uh, you know, her form had been crabbed. But, um, you know, she's never going to be flashy, but she gets the job done and she's, she's a tough old girl. Oh, I, I, I love those kind of, kind of horses. And, of course, you had your Group 1 success here at York with Marsha um, for Sir Mark. That was in the Nunthorpe, and now you've got a, a, another domestic Group 1 to add to it. Yeah, it's fantastic. And, like I say, I can't thank Sir Mark enough. He, he gives me big opportunities and... Um, you know, you, you just hope you can keep delivering and keep getting the job done nicely. And now this is a small matter of the arc. How are you feeling about that? Yeah, it's, um, it's exciting. It's probably one of the one races I've wanted to ride in that I haven't so far. And I've been lucky to have two winners on arc day, but um, to have a live chance in the arc would be, uh, you know, it's, it's almost a dream come true. Absolutely. And you could even win it with a, with a filly in this kind of form. Yeah, like I say, she's in great, great order. Um, it looks a very open race this year, so fingers crossed she goes to have a live chance. Well, it was a, a fabulous day here today for the fifth group, group one for her and a, another group one for you as well. Many congratulations, Luke. You're about to get your trophy from the sound of things, so really well done. Brilliant. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you. Thank you.